Hey guys, Artosis here, and I am today going to be bringing you the MPL, Moonlight Pro League, a crowdfunded Pro League match style thing that happens a lot, <laughs> and it's, it's fantastic. Uh, a lot of pro gamers take part. This particular one is going to be a, a team of Scan Motive and Ample going up against Ruin, Zealot, uh, and Barracks. So that's going to be a lot of fun. We're starting off here in game number one on Neo Sylphid, a wonderful map. So happy to see people starting to play this one again with uh, Ruin over here in that bottom left. And in the bottom right, we are gonna have Scan. Now this is a three player map, uh, probably the best three player map ever created, I would say. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty, pretty accurate, pretty fair. Uh, everyone seems to like it quite a bit. Really an interesting and exciting map. You can get really big macro games here, rushes here, everything here. Uh, so, yeah, yeah. Looking forward to seeing what is going to be pulled out. Ruin looks like he is going to go for a gateway. We'll see uh, where he goes with that gate, though. It's been very trendy recently to go for, like, gateway expansions and things like that. Scan going down to the front to make his barracks. And yeah, I uh, want to just thank you guys as we're kind of waiting for this uh, to pick up. Thank you so much for checking out our Toast's Cast. I hope that you are enjoying the content. I'm working on getting some really great stuff on here pretty soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Jadong matches. Uh, those were those were super fun, and I hope to get more games like that in the future as well. But yeah, please make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification button as there is a new Procast literally every single day. I haven't missed a day, and it's been like eight months plus. Uh, so yeah, I hope uh, I hope to continue with that. So thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Appreciate it. All right, so no scout here from Ruin. Uh, he is making a Zealot. Scan, on the other hand, looks like he's going for a gasless expansion. Okay, so this is an interesting placement for that. Right? Like, this is this is a weird build that we're looking at right now. Sends out that first Marine. There is a Zealot on the way. Nothing has come at him yet, and he's actually scouting at second, so he's going to miss the Zealot that's on the way. This is going to be really annoying for Scan, because he's, like, this... He's going to have to run this SCV away, and he's going to have to pull, like, two to three SCVs from his main base, I think. Or probably two SCVs, I would say, because he's going to have three Marines out. But, yeah, this is this is definitely going to be very, very annoying, especially considering Ruin literally hasn't scouted, and the Zealot's just going there first, right? Like, if Scan is at the top, he doesn't even have to run. Uh, but, yeah, here, here he comes, and the Marines do have to pull back for now. Gets on top of one of them, gets that hit. Oh, my God, the pathing's so terrible. So terrible. That's so ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> uh, the Zealot gets one kill and chunks down another one quite a bit. SCV coming out. Oh, God. He just hasn't put much damage on this, uh, this Zealot yet. Another hit. Another hit. Fourth Marine comes out. And look, Scan needs to get the Bunker Star. That's the most important thing. Look at, look at this. Ruin trying to put damage on that SCV. See what he can get done. We have a Dragoon coming. Another on the way. And once the bunker's up, scan is safe. But before that, it gets a little bit questionable. Look, he's he was checking to see if he thought he could run in and uh, force the bunker to not finish, but unable to do so. Now the Dragoon's coming up. Looks like he's getting ready to throw down that Nexus. First factory is going up here for scan. 300 gas in the bank over here for Ruin. That's like a lot of gas to be banked right now. I'm a little bit confused. I guess he's going to throw down a robo, but he'll still have like 150 gas left over. Weird. Anyways, we'll see. We'll see what he does with that. Scan over here. Getting his second factory, which is very standard with a gasless expansion like this. Still don't see exactly what Ruin's up to. He's got 400 gas. Okay, there we go. Robo goes down. <laughs> All right. Uh... I, I would imagine he's going to go into Reaver with this, but we'll see. Now, three goons pressuring that front bunker. First siege tank is a ways off, right? 25 seconds for the add-on, 32 seconds for the siege tank. So that is a lot of time of these three SCVs repairing instead of mining. 
So definitely the minerals going in the wrong direction via these three. Some decent pressure, but don't forget, like, honestly, advantage here goes to scan. You got his command center up so quickly. And this command center, is this nexus is not even finished yet. So he's up like five workers and yeah, he's spending good money here, but it's not that much repair. You're actually losing more from the lost mining time than you are repairing here. Okay, so Zealot coming up. Oh, he's going to dive in here a little bit. A good pull away, though. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess so. <laughs> oh, the loads are so awesome. Um, okay, well, those are really fancy loads that we see to try to save SCV health. And that's kind of hilarious that those four goons, none of them died. They sat inside firing range of this bunker for 100 years. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, he gets a few extra SCVs. And look at that. Suddenly, the worker count is even after that. And all he had to do was trade a bit of goon health. I guess, I guess not bad. All right. Turret going down because, of course, Scan doesn't have real intel as to what's going on across the map. It is going to be Observer. So it looks like it is Observer into a, a, a third nexus and he still does have 400 gas so yeah he banked quite a bit i think it's this hasn't been all that optimized maybe he's just kind of playing off the cuff once he found that it was a uh, gasless expansion but yeah yeah it's uh kind of interesting to see the the economy balancing here thus far but the three gates going to be good i think scan has easily enough to push him back right now looks like we have speed and mines on the way the two factories continue to produce armory coming up so that he can get those upgrades going as well and some good micro there from ruin kind of forcing scan back for a moment but you know what he made some room he's sending his vultures out and he can get some more intel with that we don't have anything like comsats yet so can't really uh figure out what's going on except by scouting the map right now so these two vultures can go out lay a few mines in the center i'm sure they'll go up and check for this base there'll probably be dragoons up there already it's pretty standard all right, Vulture's going up to this gas base. See nothing there. And the... Well, Reaver Tech is here now. Okay, a few Vultures running in. These two get caught really quickly. And yeah, it seems like there's plenty here to just kind of cut these Vultures down rather quickly. And they will end up falling, but they got a few probes. So Scan is up six workers right now. But he is only on two factories. He is only on two command centers. So it's going to take him a little bit. Uh, he didn't start his plus one. He de Okay, there we go. Definitely got to make sure you have that going. Very, very important. But yeah, Ruin looking like he's pretty impenetrable right now. Getting that shuttle speed, which is just so popular at the moment. Reaver on the way as well. Some Zealots being made, likely to go into that shuttle. Third CC going up on the two factories. And just a few vultures out on the map right now as well. Uh, one thing I would love to see is an academy relatively soon. Because he still doesn't really know what's happening, I think, right? Like, he hasn't he hasn't seen this. He hasn't seen a shuttle. He's seen observers, obviously. He's seen a lot of dragoons. And at this point, it's like, okay, is, is it going to be Reaver? Or is it going to be Arbiter? Or Well, I guess it could be Carrier, but that's not very likely here. Not the greatest build for this map. All right, a couple dragoons coming down, clearing out some mines. Getting ready to take that third base. We see a lot of factories being added in. Academy coming up, Starport coming up. Oh God, and here comes that Reaver. See, this is the problem with playing a little bit blind here. Do you make the turret ring? Do you just take damage if the Reaver comes in? You can see the Reaver is actually doing fantastically right now. Four units coming back, so he will have to pick it up eventually. Or not. Just keep just keep firing Scarabs. Just keep killing stuff. And the Speed Shuttle gonna get away flying near the bunker. But yeah, that was, that was good damage. Look, we're down to 51 SCVs against 57 probes now. So Scan kind of loses quite a bit there. He knows, though, that now speed shuttles with Reavers are out. There are more shuttles being made, of course. Here's the next one. Fourth base coming up for Ruin uh, before this third gets landed for Scan. 
And we'll see. Uh, I mean, Ruin coming across the map, he... Like, he has double speed shuttle. And he has a lot of Dragoons. Is this enough to break it? We don't actually have any turrets in this area. Not all of this is buildable, but you can build turrets like here. Uh, and I think he definitely needs some of that. He doesn't have that much right now. This is actually kind of a scary attack. Even though you wouldn't expect to see an attack like this right now. Okay, coming forward. The Dragoons tanking a lot of these shots. Reaver coming out of the shuttle. Putting in a ton of extra damage. Only three or four tanks up here. So that won't last forever. He's busting into the natural. Scan having to run out of here immediately. He has this Wraith. That's not going to be very useful. A few tanks popping out. SCV's going to try to hold at the front here. But the Reaver comes out. Going to add a ton of additional damage here as well. And you know what? I think that this damage is actually starting to snowball. Ruin is on four bases during all of this as well. Down goes the Reaver. Only a few gateway units left. So, like, maybe it can be cleaned. But... He's taking too much damage, and losing this CC would be just huge. You cannot be losing a command center at this point in the game. Siege Chain getting a ton of damage from up high there. See just straight macro coming out of Ruin. Rallying those units across the map. Keeping just a few Dragoons alive. Rest of the units. Oh, it looks like he's going to try to bust his third base as well. Yeah, the Zealot's getting in on top. Only a single Siege Shank left over. Obviously, he's going to deal some significant damage here as well. And scan GG's. Ruin takes game number one for his team.